guys and welcome back to my youtube channel this is jay Pre. before we get into the video can you please like comment and subscribe thank you thank you thank you and thank you for taking the time out to click on this video so the title of this video is part two miss Soli hair review their response their response to me trying to get a refund i just wanted to release this video because i don't want you guys to waste your time trying to get a refund if you already ordered it or i just want to tell you what will happen if you order the wig and you know got it and um, you're thinking about emailing them and try to get a refund i'm just gonna tell you what happened when i reached out to them to get a refund so you know when i got these shitty booty wigs from miss Soli, you know i told y'all in the last video they were so bogus so i still got them um they've been in the same spot since i got them uh i still haven't worn them because i'm not gonna wear these cheap gas station wigs but you know, I was I'm still kind of upset about the wigs, you know, itself. Like, still bogus, no elastic bands, no lace, not true to description, not even the colors I ordered, not even plugged. You know, I still have them all here. I have not worn them because I was so disappointed. But you know, um, yeah, I just want to show you what happened when I decided to uh, reach out to them. So I'm gonna just leave my like, you know, my email. But evil to them, I'm gonna put that right here. Okay, so this is what happened. <laughs> so the day I got the wig, I emailed them right away because I was upset. As soon as I got home, I didn't even tell y'all, I emailed them right away. So I was like, you know, I sent this big old paragraph. I was like, I'm upset. I spent sixty to ninety dollars on this wig and it looked like gas station wigs. You guys should be ashamed of yourself. If you guys do not give me a refund, I'm gonna take you to court. I'm gonna give you a bad review of all this, you know, I'm saying all that. You know, like, cause that's really bogus. You don't do that. You don't. You don't sit here and give me this bogus look. This bogus look away when you show my nice wigs on your website, and then also included the screenshots. You know, I mean pictures of how the wig look, and then a screenshot of my order and how to pick how the wig look in the order. And I sent that email, asked for a refund and all that, and I waited for the response. The response took about I'll say two days. So then they responded and, you know, try to hack off her to your customer. I'm so sorry for that. I'm sorry that your item did not meet your expectations. We consulted the issue with our warehouse. And um, if you want a re full refund, you're going to have to pay for shipping and label and we shipped it back to China. Now, she was acting like she didn't know what is going on in her warehouse. But you know you a scanning company. You know what your warehouse is sending out. Don't act dumb with me. So she said, we can refund you 15%. I'm like, okay, okay, cool. I'll take it. And me not knowing that, I don't really know what she meant by 50%. I said, okay, okay. I can take the refund, but how much is 50% before I come to this agreement? And she said, dear customer, we will refund you 15%, which is $15. And that will be coming back to your original payment method in three to five business days. And I'm like, right, hold up. I'm like, hold. Yes, I'm like, hold up. Because I spent $96 and you're going to give me $15? You can't be serious. I said, I'm going to contact, you know, like the Attorney General office of Arizona to see if I get a refund or something. And she was like, okay, okay, wait, dear customer, we could give you $30 instead. If you do not want to take this offer, you will have to send it back to China with, for the full amount. With, uh, um, you know packaging and you know labeling you know i don't want to send nothing back to china this is not in the same state as me this is not in the same country as me you know how much shipping will cost to take this thing back to china and like at that it's say like fujian china i don't even know where fujian Jian, china is and i'm not gonna pay for that i feel like just for you doing me dirty and giving me these gas station wigs you should just want to give me a refund because you know you know you're a scammer you know that and if you're watching this video you know you're a scammer company you should just gave you the full refund i should not have to do all that because you know what you were doing when you sent out this bogus wig you know what you were doing and you take my full 96 dollars and say i can only get 30 dollars back are you kidding me are you guys a joke so that was their response i said okay so i'm not gonna go back for these people and you know the bag was ripped up i got so mad at the hair it looked like a cornball. I, I don't have any stuff for shipping this. I said, I'll take the dirty dollars, okay? But you're going to get a negative review. She said, okay, customer, wait three to five days. 
okay i worked a few days and i got my refund for 30 dollars but i'm still upset and i feel like if you guys order from this company cancel your order right now if you um already got this order of this bogus hair <laughs> email them right now their email address i'm gonna leave right here is service at miss and i just want you guys to you know blow up the email and be like some y'all bogus you should be ashamed for for that it's taking people money and giving them a gas station wig like we people work hard for their money it's already hard enough as it is out here we dealing with inflation milk prices going up gas is going up daycare going up food is going up come on now in a minute it's gonna be cost of money to breathe and you taking my hard on 96 dollars you know what 96 dollars could it be in my pocket going to put food on my table and you're gonna refund me 30 and you know that really don't sit with me will because i have a trip coming up right to go to miami and i was looking forward to getting some nice wigs so my for my trip i can like you know switch out the wigs or whatever but i get these gas station wigs and i'm not happy about it so i really think if you're, if you're watching this video pause this video email them and be like you know rant you know get on these people nerves to the point they start refunding the full amount to all their customers without pressuring us to send it back to china and paying for all that money just to ship it to a different freaking country like that's just insane and i don't it don't sit right with me in my soul that they doing this to people that's just grimy on so many different levels like you knew your company was scamming and you knew you had these kind of wigs you just decided to take my money and play me and i feel stupid because i trusted this small business i'm thinking okay maybe this is a small black business let me support because if i was a small business i won't support too you know and they just really take advantage of me and my money and any other person's money and i don't i don't sit right with that so you guys should build up their email and be like y'all wrong or get your money back and you know it is what it is you guys you know there's nothing much more i can do i can try to take them to court i have thought about it but do i have time i'm a working mom you know i don't know if i want to do that but yeah i just wanted to let you know what the response will be if you guys are deciding to respond to them and how they're gonna act and it's not cool i can't believe they even have the audacity to say you can only get 15 dollars back at first 15 dollars and i spent 96 dollars once again, I'm gonna show you the transaction. <laughs> this is it's crazy. People are really greedy out here and will just take advantage of people and give take all their money, hard earned money to give them something like this. It looked like a kid made this wig, to be honest. These wigs. But yeah, I don't wanna talk too much, but um that's the end of this video. Guys, leave in the comments what happened when you asked for a refund. Leave in the comments how your hair looked when you got it. Leave in the comments if you decide to cancel your order. But um, thank you for taking the time out to click on this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Bye. Also, real quick, guys, I just wanted to show you how the wigs look like on the website. They look all nice and cute, but in person, they look like gas station wigs. This is so bogus. We need to expose this company. But thank you for watching. Goodbye.